covering news from around the world. Your accurate, dependable, and exclusive television news source. WBJU TV News. Good afternoon. Here's the latest news. President Barack Obama's outreach to Capitol Hill gets underway tomorrow when he meets with congressional leaders at the White House. But yesterday, Obama defended his policies and threatened to act on his own immigration reform by the end of the year if Congress doesn't take action. In January, Republicans take control of the Senate and gain a tighter grip on the House. And now for a look at the weather. Weather <laughs> and stuff. Um, so in New York, um, we have a great 50 degree sunny weather. Um, then we go down to Raleigh, East Coast, we're mostly sunny. Um, we have a 62 degree sunny. Down in Atlanta, we have partly, partly cloudy, 60 degrees. Um, um, then we go down, lower, 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 and we end up down here. We've got New Orleans and Miami, the blazing hot of 76 and 78. Now for a look at our three-day forecast. Um, on Friday, it will be sunny with 63 degree weather most of the day. Um, Saturday, we'll have 55 degree chance of rain. And it's during summer, we have thunder showers and 49 degrees. And now it's time for sports. Okay. And now for a look at sports, I'm Charlie Beach. Wide receiver Calvin Johnson is expected to return this week after missing the Detroit Lions' last three games with an injury, ankle injury. Johnson is back to his normal practice routine and will play Sunday when the Lions host the Miami Dolphins. The Lions won all three games Johnson missed, but they haven't gained more than 400 yards since week one. Here's a look at last night's NBA scores. Warriors versus Clippers, 121 to 104. Spurs against the Hawks was 94 to 92. And the Bulls beat the Bucks at 95 to 86. That's all for sports now. Back to our news anchor. A Western New York homeowner says she awoke to find an unwelcome visitor in her living room, a deer. Wyoming Sheriff County Deputy Matthew Sage says the young buck had crashed through a window and was standing near a couch when he arrived at the rural Strikersville home Monday morning. Before Sage could get inside the house, the deer jumped out through the window and trotted off into the woods. He said the animal appeared to be uninjured. Thanks for watching WBJU News. Have a good day.